G'day guys, well today we're bringing you something really special and something we haven't brought to the channel before and that's a caravan review. So we've been loaned this caravan by Pickering Caravans, uh, which are located down the Gold Coast, uh, for a caravan review. Now this is a design RV getaway and it's a uh, tandem axle bunk caravan. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be starting doing an outside review uh, and then we'll work our way on the inside. I'll probably pass over to Sarah uh, and then she can take you through. Right, starting at the front here, we've got our uh, standard 50mm ball with handbrake on the front. We've got a 12-pin trailer plug, and we've also got our Trail Safe BM Pro uh, breakaway uh, cable on the front here. Um, you've got your jockey wheel, which uh, is uh, located in the center. Um, I really like this idea, rather than having the swing-up jockey wheel on the side, in the center it's out of the way. Um, this one is also optioned with the second gas bottle as well, um, which I think is great. Um, gives you those extended sort of stays. Also, additionally, they have mounted an additional frame, so this isn't uh, this is an extra, uh, and that's to uh, mount your uh, your bike rack like a grip sport. Um, you've got your handles on the front here. Not sure why they actually put them on, uh, but that obviously is a uh, bit of a design. Uh, at the front here, you've got your uh, um, uh, power lead, uh, and then you've got your uh, breakaway, uh, your um, uh, RCD here. Inside here, you've got a nice big tunnel boot. So we just open this up to the side. And that goes all the way through, and they've got a nice little LED light here as well. So open up there, and you've got your VIN plate uh, here. We'll talk about weights and all that sort of stuff uh, a little bit uh, later. So we'll just close this one up. You've got your nice black powder-coated uh, drop-down legs un under here. Uh, moving along, you've got your uh, Eurovision uh, tinted glass, uh, well, not glass, but uh, Perspex windows. I found these really good. They block out a lot of the light. And also don't let a lot of light sort of um, uh, out either. So at night when you've got your lights on, you're sort of not you know silhouetting yourself. So they've been really good. Uh, we'll show you how they operate. They uh, pull out nice, quite nicely. Uh, you've got your fridge vents uh, down the bottom. Uh, your uh, filler tank. So this one here has two water tanks in it. Um, so you can add in. Uh, and then uh, they're obviously key lockable. Now this one is the touring spec. So it is the uh, does have leaf uh, springs on it. Uh, and uh, and 14 or another 15 inch wheels, I think they are, uh, with some sort of low sort of profile tires. So, um, yeah, as I said, it is the touring spec. Uh, coming around the back here, you've got some nice convenient locations for your town inlet and also your sellage. Um, nicely, nice and secure. You've also got your, um, uh, if you've got a uh, trail mate, a uh, jacking point there so you can, you know, obviously jack the, uh, the caravan up. You've got your nice uh, clear uh, LED tail lights with number plate light and also your uh, uh, spare wheel. And at the top here, it's also optioned with a safety day reversing camera. So that has really nice crystal clear vision. So one thing I forgot to point out was the battery location. Uh, Design RV have actually located their, uh, their batteries on the outside of the van, uh, just in front of the uh, front wheel here. And it's a 100 amp hour uh, battery located in a nice aluminum box. Right, so moving on to the awning side, you've obviously got your tunnel boot that goes all the way sort of through. Uh, as I said, bulk amount of storage you can get. Now moving on to the awning. So this is an Aussie Traveller awning. Um, great amount of, uh, of space underneath this awning. And I find that these uh, Aussie Traveller awnings, uh, I think they're far better than what we've got. And we've got a carefree awning. They just seem to operate and they sort of function far better. There's a nice smooth action. Um, but as I said, great amount of shade. Um, window, this one's obviously uh, right next to the bedroom. Same as the other side. So they let in a heap of light. Um, and obviously you can open these windows up and they let a heap of air through, so really good. Um, speakers, so you've got one speaker here and one speaker back down here. Now this is obviously connected up to the uh, uh, radio system, so you can have your CDs or your radio or Bluetooth or whatever uh, speakers come through. Uh, just on beneath, beneath the, uh, the speaker, you've got some 12 volt outlets uh, with your antenna and you've got a uh, 240 volt outlet as well. Um, you've got your, door, uh, your awning window uh, for where your dinette is. Um, again, nice big window. And that's one thing I've found with these uh, design RVs is they've got these really large aperture windows and they let a heap of light and a heap of air through. So you've got your uh, standard sort of picnic table off to the side here. One thing I want to point out is that these guys are an Australian manufacturer. They're accredited um, through the Caravan Industry Association of Australia. So look, 
when you're sort of, you know, contemplating about buying a van, I reckon, you know, stick with Australian made and you can't go wrong. Now, one feature I love about this caravan is the actual caravan door. These doors are absolutely amazing. They're a nice wide aperture, they're nice and tall. Uh, they're not sort of uh, as narrow. We find ours is a little bit narrower than this and a little bit shorter, uh, maybe because it's a, a pop-top van, but we just find that the operation of this door is really good. Um, you've got another little light here, um, so you can sort of push, and it's got a nice little blue glow. I don't know if you can sort of see that. And then you've got your uh, another little uh, bright light. And just one thing I want to bring around the back of the van, which is an additional extra, I'll just creep around over here, is that you've got an external shower, uh, which is the option here. So under that key, and you've got a nice little external shower. I find these are absolutely fantastic, especially if you're camping near, sort of near the beach or near the pool. Just coming back to the van, giving yourself a nice quick rinse off is uh, absolutely amazing. So what I'll do now is we're gonna jump inside and let uh, Sarah take you through. Well, welcome to the inside of the getaway F1 Design RV Caravan. What you'll find in this caravan is there is plenty of storage and we've just absolutely loved our stay. If you wanna start down the back here, Adam, yeah. the boys have got their bunks and at the end of each bunk, Hello. which I absolutely love, the boys love this is a little storage area it's massive they can put all their own toys in there you could even put their clothes in there they can access access it themselves each bunk also has these little storage pouches you can put books in there or their homework or drink bottles whatever they need at night time and down the end of each bunk they've got their own lights and their dimmer lights so they've got a few different settings you've got two power points and two usbs and they've got the window systems. They push out nice and high or different settings. And it's got the, the midgy mesh proof and also a blind. And we found the blinds to be really block out. It stayed really dark. Yeah, they actually got right sleep-ins yep. first. Then, underneath the bottom bunk is this little drop-down storage cupboard here. And that runs the full length of the bunk. Massive amounts of storage. On the side here, You've also got more storage, or whether you use it as pantry or wardrobe. A few different shelves there. And again, down below. Yeah, and it's really good that they've actually included all shelves as well. It's not just sort of open area. Yeah, yeah. and that's on both sides. Yeah. If you come across to the kitchen, you've got your standard sink. But this one also has got a filtered tap. And nice, fresh, clean water. And another one of those wonderful windows with the midgy proof mesh. And your blind option. And they're so easy to use. And it blocks out the light. Super dark. Uh, another couple of power points. Got another light over the top of your sink. It's actually a really good night light. You know, if you've gone to bed, put the, put the kids to the bed and you're still up. Nice little night light. We've got a your standard stove top. What have we got here? We've got three burner and an electric. And we've got a little grill below. As you can see, we haven't used it. <laughs> Not on this trip anyway. Oops. There's four cupboards up above. Again, massive amounts of storage. I'm just so impressed. I think it might be because we we have a pop top. So we miss out on all this storage up above. Because yep. it's the canvas, it's the bit that folds down. So I'm just blown away. I couldn't even fill it if I tried. Yep. And you've also got a nice little range hood underneath here as well with an LED light on there. The fan. Yep. And we've got all the storage through here, you've got drawers, cupboards. What's under here? Is that the hot water system's just under here? Yep. And it gets really hot. The hot water gets really nice and hot. If we take a look at the really nice big L-shaped lounge, we fit comfortably four on here. You can even squish maybe a fifth. Nice big long table you can use this as prep area as well if you didn't have enough bench space and the other huge dinette window and again storage right up top huge we've also got a microwave and a Dometic fridge do you know what size that is Adam? I think it's 190 litre Dometic 190? fridge so it's a three-way fridge so gas electric and sort of 12 volt but obviously 12 volts only for uh, you know uh, traveling We've got a TV option up here, place DVDs as well. We've got more storage in the corner, but this one here 
is where the battery system is, battery management system. Now, Anna can tell you more about that. That's not my expertise. Another window either side of the bedroom. Fully blocks out. I had best sleep. Drawers down this side. Hanging wardrobe this side. I'm sure you could probably put shelves in if you prefer shelves. And storage above. And what's really cool too is down here is the little nooks for mum and dad. There's power points and a USB charger point in there. Fantastic for charging your iPad or your phone. All those good things. Uh, we've got a hutch here. And it's also got a pull cross block out blind part. It's nice to know it's got the integrated LED lights on here as well. I think that's really fantastic. We've got the speaker system. And we've got the beautiful air conditioning that we've been running for four days straight. Yeah, so this is a GRI air conditioner, uh, and um, from what I can understand, for looking at the uh, the pamphlets and, and the, and the uh, information, it's actually, you can connect it to Wi-Fi. So if you had a Wi-Fi system in the caravan, you could connect it up and effectively, I don't know, maybe hook it up to Smart Home? I don't know. Maybe we'll have yeah. to check that out. I don't know if you noticed, also throughout the van, there was heaps of downlights. Yeah, stacks of downlights. I would have got like that 12. Yeah, it's, it's probably a little bit overkill, but it's, it's quite nice. It's good to have more light than not enough. Yeah. And upon entry, the van is where your radio is and your home base station to control all your lighting and check your battery and your water tanks. But again, Adam can talk you through all of that. All right, so as Sarah was uh, pointing out before, this is the uh, Battery Management Pro. This is like a bit of a uh, control hub. Um, basically what it is, uh, it, you can control your sort of your, your main on and off switch uh, for your battery. Um, you can turn all your lights on and off, all that sort of thing. It does give you a, uh, a tank level gauge, so depending on how full your water tanks are, and also how much time you sort of got remaining uh, in your battery sort of capacity. Now I think it's a 100 amp hour lithium sort of battery. And I think you've got 190 watt solar on the roof. I'll have to double check that, but if it's any different, I'll, I'll chuck it down below. Uh, and then over to the sort of the brains of the system and this little cupboard. Let me sort of open this up. One thing I really like about the system is it's well sort of put together. It's sort of super neat. Um, everything's well laid out. You've got your needed inputs and your positive outputs there. You've got four fuses which obviously control the whole system and it's sort of all in sort of one integrated sort of system. It's not like those old school sort of Jayco's like what we had uh, previously where it was sort of like a bit of a jumble of, of wires but overall really impressed with that. All right, well, there we have it. There's an inside and outside look at the Getaway F1 uh, by Design RV. Now, what do you reckon? Would, 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 okay, let's talk about the things that you like about it. What do you like about it? I love how light yep. and spacious and airy, and it just feels really luxurious. Like It does. It does feel like a very sort of high-end sort of, you know... Boutique hotel. Or yeah, something. like it's very, you know, especially if you could, you know, style it a little bit as well. I reckon that would be, you know, it would be pretty nice. Hey? Yeah. One, yeah, one thing I suppose I really liked about it is the amount of inclusions that you sort of get for your sort of your money. Um, whereas a lot of other manufacturers, you, oh, there'll, be, add there'll be add-ons and all those types of things. So I think that um, is really good. Um, what, what, what don't you like about it? Oh, well, it's not the van's fault. Um, for the type of caravanning that we do, and we do mostly free camping, um, we need a shower and toilet. In yeah. order for it to be the perfect van for us, it needs a shower and a toilet. But if you are a camper where you just love going to the caravan parks and they've got all the amenities on site, then this is probably pretty perfect for you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, um, obviously, Design RV have a heap of different uh, models in their range uh, that you can sort of choose yeah, from. This one, this one's sort of like, it's almost like the entry level, I think, this, this getaway. Exactly, yeah. Um, you know, at the price point. Now, that's the one thing we need, need to probably point out is what's the price point of this. So, um, this is about 72,000 drive away uh, from at the moment on Pickering Caravans. Now look, I don't know if that's suggested retail or whatever, and, and I'm pretty sure if you went into Pickering Caravans, you could probably drive a really good deal. Um, so there's one for you. Um, but also, um, let's, talk about, look, let's talk about weights. Now this, I suppose, from, from a personal perspective, I think this, is, this only weighs just over two tonne. 
uh, and has just over 500 kilos worth of payload. So again, as Sarah said, if you're just going around to caravan parks, you know, sort of fairly local or whatever, this is going to have more than enough weight. And plus, you can probably tow it with generally most four-wheel drives or yeah. even some two-wheel drive vehicles because of the weight. So, but anyway, big shout out to Pickering Caravans for uh, letting us uh, have the, the van for the weekend. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. And if you've got any questions or comments, uh, drop them down below. And until next time, we'll catch you around. Cheers. Bye.